Hi everyone, I'm Avinesh and in today's episode of Avi's Kitchen, we'll be making Pad Thai. Pad Thai is basically a Thai rice noodle dish which is delicious, tangy, sweet, sour and a little bit spicy. Today I'll be showing you how I make it at home. We'll begin with marinating our chicken a night before. Traditionally, Pad Thai does not have marinated chicken in it, but I like to marinate it for added flavor. You can make this recipe vegetarian by just omitting chicken. Chicken is optional. You can use any vegetables you like. I'm using boneless chicken thai, to which I've added garlic paste, some fish sauce for that umami thai flavor, dark soy sauce. You can even use light soy sauce if that's all you have in hand, or just leave it out completely. Then I'll add the acid, which in this case is rice vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. Uh oh, I made a mess. You can find all recipe ingredient quantities in YouTube description box. After that, I would be adding some sriracha chili sauce for some heat. You can add sambal sauce, peri peri sauce, any sauce you have. Give it a good mix, then cover it up and refrigerate it overnight or until it's ready to use. Then one hour before I'm about to make pad thai, I soak my rice noodles in lukewarm water and keep them covered until I'm ready to use them. Meanwhile, I like to prepare my other ingredients like crush my garlic, peanut, green onion, tofu until they're ready to use. You can find all the ingredient quantities in YouTube description box below. Next, I'll make my pad thai sauce. And these are the ingredients we'll need. Fish sauce, palm sugar, I'm using brown sugar, tamarind paste, lemon juice, rice vinegar, some sweet paprika for color, and sriracha sauce for heat. It's really really simple. All you need to do is dunk all the ingredients into a bowl and mix it together. You can be more chefy and plan ahead and double or quadruple this recipe and keep them in refrigerator for next time use. Once you are ready to cook, you should have all your ingredients in front of you because cooking process does not take long. It's super super quick. So in a frying pan on high flame, add your oil. Once the oil gets hot, add in your crushed garlic. Saute them for a little bit. And then add your tofu. Stir it around for a bit. And then add your marinated chicken. Once your chicken is half cooked, partition everything to one side and then crack an egg. Egg is an optional ingredient. If you are making it vegetarian without chicken, you can leave it out. But if you are making it with chicken and you do eat egg, I would highly recommend it. Add your drained rice noodles to your wok now. But don't throw away the soaking liquid because you might need it later if your pad thai noodles becomes too dry. Cook the rice noodles for 2-3 to three minutes before adding the pad thai sauce. Continue cooking. We want the final consistency of this noodle to be neither too soggy nor too dry. After a while, I switched from a spatula to a tong because I felt it was so much easier to move the noodles with the help of a tong. Now you can actually add half of your green onions and your vegetables and even peanuts into your wok and cover it with rice noodles so to steam it than rather frying it in hot oil. Cook it like this for two to three minutes and your pad thai noodles are ready. I like to serve these with lemon wedges, peanut, green onion and more sriracha sauce. If you make this, please click pictures and tag me on Instagram. Until then, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.